Okay, here's Bodhi's bandage. He has sutures on the top, and he also has a couple of sutures on the bottom um, in the webbing, and so we're gonna wanna put a telpha um, across, across over the suture areas. So I'm gonna take a telpha and I'm gonna cut a small piece for myself for the other side. Um, perfect. I'm gonna lay the t one telpha here. Actually, it's gonna wrap around nicely, so I'm just gonna wrap it like this, if that helps. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of padding, cast padding over the whole foot. This is absorbent and also just some cushion. And we, I don't feel the need to put any between the toes. I think they're gonna do just fine. I'm gonna go over the toes completely with this. I don't want this to be too bulky or too fat. So I just do a few layers like that. And then I'm gonna put vet wrap or Coban on. I loosen it up and then I rewrap it so that I'm not putting a whole lot of tension on this. I go ahead and I start by covering the, the foot and then I start my figure eight. And wrap up the foot with it. From there, I don't put this part directly on the skin. You can tell I've got it covered nicely here pretty well. Again, I'm not pulling hard with this and then wrapping it. I'm just laying it on itself and it's sticky, so it'll hold it. And then I cut that off. This is what's actually gonna hold, this elasticon is actually what's gonna hold it on the foot. And I'm also gonna make a sole of the shoe, a little protector with this. So as far as the sole of the shoe goes, I just choose a couple of inches of it and cut it off. This part, this stuff's hard to rip. You need scissors for that. And I go ahead and lay it across the toe where the bandage is gonna get kind of the most wear and tear and wrap it up the side. I pinch it and trim it because I like it to be neat and tidy, but you don't necessarily have to do that. It doesn't have to be perfect. This part's really critical. The elasticon is very sticky and it has a little stretch to it and it will cut off circulation. So I'm gonna use it half on the bandage and half on him so that it holds it on and won't let the bandage slide off. So I choose a length that is going to go all the way around first and I go ahead and cut it. So I'm not tempted to pull and cut off circulation. So I put it, this red line rem helps remind me half on the bandage, half on him. So I'm gonna lay it across and I'm just, I am not pulling tight and wrapping. I am just laying this on him really gently like this. And then, and I didn't pull at all. And then I warm the elasticon up with my hand. So I'm just squeezing it and the warmth of my hand will make the adhesive very, very sticky and it will stick to his skin up here. When you're taking this bandage off, you, you can just completely unravel it and not have to cut it. If you do cut it, very important to use actual bandage scissors that have a guard so that you don't cut his skin or cut the sutures. Um, and I'd like this bandage replaced daily or if you have strike through, if there's red coming through or it's gotten wet or dirty, we need to um, replace it sooner than once a day. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think you're gonna do great.